Hello players, welcome to PC Couch Game. I'm your host, the Internet's Buzz Stringer, and we're going to be looking at whether it's possible to have all your Steam games saved somewhere else. So the idea is to take all the games from the Steam library and put them on some kind of NAS tucked out the way. So what's the point of this? Well, number one, to see if it works, and number two, the ultimate goal might be to build a tiny gaming PC that will fit nice in the living room without the need for either large mechanical drives or a bunch of SSDs. So if it works, it may be entirely possible to remove all the hard drives and even SSDs and just run the gaming system on one NVMe drive. Now, of course, you're still gonna need all the raw horsepower for gaming. So you're still gonna need the graphics card, a decent PSU, motherboard, that kind of thing. But if we can eliminate drives, it may give us the opportunity to make the case even smaller and get it down to console size. In theory, that sounds all great, but there are a couple of drawbacks. You will need a NAS for a start, uh, somewhere where you can save bulk media. Secondly, it's another machine that has to be always on. And third, due to latency and all the other stuff that comes with wireless, it has to be a wired network. So we're going to be testing it over a gigabit network to see if it actually works. At this stage, I'd like to point out that this is not Steam Link. The horsepower needs to be on the local machine that you're using. It's the install files which are saved in another location. I have a video about Steam Link and how it works, which I'll link at the end of this video. But for now, let's get started on testing whether this actually works. Okay, so the first step is to set the network drive to the install game location in Steam. Now this is a feature not natively supported in Steam. I don't know if it's been intentionally left out or if it's just a feature that doesn't exist, but we can get around this by using symbolic links. In a nutshell, what it does is allow a local folder to act as a direct link to a folder somewhere else. So in all programs and applications, that will see the folder as a local folder, but the files are actually stored wherever you point them to. So the first step that I'm gonna do is make a folder, symbolic link folder in the C drive, which will link to a folder on my media server or NAS. Uh, this is just a test folder for this video. And as you can see, I've tried a couple of times before. So once that's done in Steam, we can add a new game download location to this folder right here, which we have created, which will actually install the files via the network onto the NAS. So we're gonna start downloading some games and test the load times and see how it affects and how it compares to have them locally stored on an SSD, the, probably the best possible solution for load times versus one of the worst over a network onto a mechanical drive if it actually works at all. So we're gonna be using Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Doom, uh, WWE 2K16, and probably the game with the longest loading time, Grand Theft Auto 5. So we'll get those games downloading and then fire them up. So now, you're probably wondering why I changed my shirt. Well, I filmed across a couple of days. So yeah, don't worry about that. But it's time to do some testing. So we're going to test uh, possibly one of the best scenarios for game loading and that is to be installed locally on an SSD and we are going to test how fast they load over the one gigabyte ethernet network. So let's go. Well, testing's done, that was fast. On this side, we are going to be loading the games on the SSD and on this side over the network and we'll see the difference, if any. Whilst the games are loading, it's probably important to point out a couple of other drawbacks. While these games are loading over the network and I was messing around installing them, I noticed a couple of things. I thought it would be a good idea just to copy the game folders over. But when I went to verify the game cache in Steam, it took anywhere between 40 and 60 minutes and I have a 200 megabit connection. So it may actually have just been faster to re-download them. Another issue I had when I was messing about was in uninstalling a game, which actually took significantly longer than it did locally, even on a mechanical local drive. It took anywhere between five and 10 minutes. Now, hopefully these are things that you won't have to do too often, so you can weigh up the pros and cons of those. But the good news is that it actually works. We've got games loading from the network to the local machine with absolutely zero impact on performance, and the only impact is with load times. And you can see here what a difference in those load times 
is. The results are not surprising. Doom and Grand Theft Auto took just over twice as long to load. Mortal Kombat was only just about 1.4 times longer, so that's not even double. And Deus Ex was just over three times longer to load. Games saved on the SSD were clocking in around about one minute load time, and games on the network with the mechanical drives were anything between one and three minutes. This is probably to be expected. I think that's a fair result. It's not too bad. So the real question is, is it worth the extra couple of minutes loading time to run from the network as it is to having a local SSD installed? And that depends. If you're trying to build the tiniest smallest PC console sized gaming machine that you want then yeah probably it might be and the load times won't probably be that far off the console counterparts which obviously have longer load times being on smaller slower drives. If your case can accommodate uh, local hard drives and SSDs then it may be worth storing them locally just for that little bit added performance. But one of the advantages of installing them on a network location such as a NAS or a media server is that they can then be accessed by any other computer on the network and you won't have to install them twice. Uh, I wouldn't recommend running two instances on two machines at the same time. That will probably lead to all kinds of God knows what issues. An ideal scenario would be if you have loads of computers set up all over the place and you game constantly on all of them but don't want to have to take up hard drive space by installing the same game across all the machines. You could just install it on your NAS or media server. And I know that it may not be the typical scenario that you may come across, but the solution is there if you need it. Another thing to point out that these load times are affected by the speed of the network. Currently, one gigabit is the consumer standard, and 10 gigabit still seems a little way off on the consumer side. But if you have some kind of fiber or other set up in your house, you probably would get faster load times as it's not limited by the one gigabit connection. And a more ludicrous solution would be to have six gigabit ethernet connections coming from the NAS to your gaming PC and that would match the six gigabit transfer speed from SATA 3 and eliminate all the bottleneck. There's a lot of discussion on the internet about what you would want a 10 gigabit connection in your home for and I can think of this as being a really good reason to actually utilize the majority of the 10 gigabit connection but until we have it we are limited to the speeds that you saw earlier. Thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button get subscribed with some more videos like this one and some videos that are not like this one and before you get trapped into the whole rabbit hole of YouTube check out this video up here it is common problems with the Oculus Rift and how to solve them and this one right here which is the latest episode of the podcast I'm a part of sit down and game so check those out and I'll see you next time